Hello, ghost enthusiasts. This is Austin Schwartz. I'm going to show you the top 11 BNM hyper ghosts. Number 11 is Goliath. This is kind of small. It's kind of cloned. It's a small airtime machine. It's not that great. It's still a good line. Good airtime. But here's number 10. It's a pouch here. Yeah. Here's my issue. It's kind of lame with the layout. It's still a fun. It has the second most amount of tones, but it's kind of. It's just not as good as the others. Honestly, it's that high. Number nine is Nitro. Well, here's the thing the color scheme, theming are terrible. Is, which makes the line worse. But it's still a great line. With, it's actually a good line. It doesn't do enough. At least it's, this is more about speed. I think. Number 8 is Solar Star. The theming color scheme is bad. This coast is about speed. Just like Nitro. But... It's higher because of its theme and color scheme. Number seven is Behemoth. This is cloned with another hyper coaster. It is the thing. It's not that fast. The airtime is big, but it's not the best. And I'll tell you what. Number six, this the other clone of it is higher than this one. Number six is Intimidator, the other clone of Behemoth. It's only higher because the theming and color scheme are better. The two mile an hour put, put difference is not really mean anything. And there's only like an extra add time on Behemoth. Theming is important to me. My Number five is Laging Ball. This one, everyone has been saying it's lame, but it's not. The heel, it's very intense and a good lie. The airtime may not be as good, but it is not meant for airtime. It is not the intensity, like Apollo's Chilean. But this one has the bigger and better intensity. So. And for this Goliath, that this is an airtime machine, but it's a bigger version of an airtime machine. It's not as fast and tall as Intimidator and Hemoth, but it is a bigger, but the airtime hills are a little bit longer, in my opinion. Number, number three is Mako. This is a head from Goliath. This is more like a Behemoth Intimidator, but way better. Theming is better. The, it might be slower than Intimidator, but the theming is so cool. The best of any hyper coaster. It's actually, it might be a clone of Behemoth and Intimidator. And it's a really good one. This, it's, it has both airtime and intensity. It might be the best hyper coaster when it comes out. Number two is Diamondback. This is similar to Nitro and Silver Star. However, this one does have airtime and speed. The theming is better on this. It's an awesome line, but what? There is one on this list that is better. What could be number one? Shambhala. This line isn't that long, but it's a great line. Look, so much at time and intensity. Actually, this coaster is very intense. Huge out time hills. Like, this is almost a giga coaster, in my opinion. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, please.